volunteers for Royal Caribbean test cruises? That's pretty tempting. So the CDC has lifted the ban on cruising. The no sale order was lifted. No sale order started in, in somewhere around in March, I think it was. Um, it was extended a couple of times. They thought it would be extended until February 2021. Somehow the White House got involved and they lift, ended up lifting, the CDC ended up lifting the no sale order, but they replaced it with a conditional sale order. This conditional sale order um, uh, involves uh, selling in the United States. Cruise lines can start back in phases. They have this 40 page um, document telling them how they can start back in phases and within these phases include simulated voyages, simulated cruises. These simulated cruises will involve test cruisers. That's what, and that's how we get here to volunteers. So Royal Caribbean kind of put out a filler or a teaser saying that they would need volunteers to be test cruisers or to test cruising. And as a result, a flurry of emails and people posted to their um, social media walls and, and they received message, all types of messages and contacts with people asking, how can I volunteer? I'm interested in volunteer. What's the, what is the criteria for volunteering? And in response, Royal Caribbean sent this letter. Thank you for your email. We apologize for the delay in our response. We appreciate your interest in the success of our brand and cruises. While we're eager to welcome our guests back on board, we have a lot to do between now and then, and we're committed to taking the time to do things right. This includes training our crew in the new health and safety protocols and conducting a number of trial sellings to stress test these protocols in a real world conditions. Currently, these sellings are limited to current employees and members of our operational teams. We will continue to work closely with both CDC and health sale panels as we plan, as we make our plans, and we are confident in our ability to migrate the risk of, pandi of the pandemic and protect the health of our guests, our crew, and the communities where we sell. Thank you for choosing Royal Caribbean International. My hope is that your entire family is keeping well. We look forward to the day we can welcome you on board. Kind regards. And that was the that was the email that they were sending, were responding to people who were emailing or contacting them. So basically, Royal Caribbean has no plans to ask for volunteers for test cruises that are not employees. If you are not a an employee of Royal Caribbean, uh, one that was laid off um, while cruising was um, on this no sale order, they don't plan to take you as a volunteer, not just yet. Ever since Royal Caribbean said it would need volunteers for its uh, test cruising last week, there had been a flurry of interest, but the cruise lines does not need the public help yet. Notice they put that yet in there. Not yet. Roy Caribbean said, we do know that we will initially have our employees and members of our operation team. But if we find the need to expand beyond our employee base, we are going to be honored to have some of our travel partners to help us with these cruises. Now, travel partners, I'm, I don't know what they mean by travel partners. Do they mean like travel agents, um, the agents that sell their cruise tickets? Um, what do they mean by travel partners? But they said they're going to first they're going to use employees and members of their operation team. And then if they need more people, then they're going to go to the travel partners. So when that time comes, we will certainly let you know. Don't call us. We'll call you. So they put the little filler and the teaser out just to see how interested people were in it. And when they realized that then they got a number, an overwhelming number of people who obviously show interest in it, then they put out this, okay, hold on, halt, just hold on a minute type um, message. So basically they're not taking any volunteers. So 
put your um passports back and unpack your bags uh not yet just hold on stand by so once again the cdc lift the no sale order on cruises but restart dates remains in question because before they can start filling these ships, which I have a feeling they're not going to fill them to capacity starting out. They're just going to maybe fill it to maybe 60% of the ship um, to start out. But if, even before they start doing that, the first cruise ships that's going to go out, is just only going to have employees on it. And then they probably do that a little while. And then from there to, to go through these phases on this conditional cell and then make sure they have everything in order. And then they'll probably go from that to, to, um, having what they call their travel partners to volunteers. Then they'll probably do some type of very, very inexpensive, um, cruising where they allow, um, people that qualify. I'm assuming that you're going to have to be in good health. Not, of course, most definitely not have COVID and a few other things, uh, going on with you, uh, to be able to test, but it's going to be so far down the line. I don't see cruising the first quarter of the year. Like I don't see a cruising, um, anytime in January or February. Uh, if it starts back in the spring, it will shock me, but it's possible. But we'll see what happens. It's going to be interesting to see what happens um, within the next four or five months here with cruising. I'm hoping that cruising will be able to come back and come back um, where it, everyone can be healthy. And, and, you know, cruising was fun. It was it was a fun, healthy, affordable thing to do. And I definitely, definitely miss it and hope that they're able to bring it back. But only if they're able to um, start back cruising and everybody remain um, safe and healthy. This is Miss Cruiser. Please like, share, and subscribe. Drop down in the comments and let me know. Would you take that? Would you would you be a guinea pig? Would you be a test cruiser? Would you have taken that test cruise? At first I said that I would, and then I thought about all the people that love me and want me to be well. And I thought about the fact that I want to be well for all of those that I love. And I and I backed off, you know, that that path of thought. But uh, would you do it? Drop down in the comments and let me know. Y'all have a good evening. Stay safe.